Naples Park was originally developed in the 1950s. It is unique in that it is designed like a city grid with numbered streets. There are about 3,200 lots of which just below 3,000 have homes on them. A typical lot is 50 feet wide by 135 feet long or 0.15 acres. Some lots have 75 or 100 feet of frontage but the vast majority are 50 feet wide. Naples Park is close to some notable locations. Vanderbilt Beach is just to the southwest at the end of Vanderbilt Beach Road and is one of the most popular beaches in Naples. The Ritz-Carlton is situated right on Vanderbilt Beach. Del Norwegian State Park is about a mile north and is an attraction for those beachgoers seeking tranquility in nature and less crowded beaches. Just to the southeast is the Mercado featuring the finest in dining and shopping, a movie theater, and a Whole Foods. Pelican Bay is just south of Naples Park and is probably Naples' most recognizable community. Pelican Bay has about 70 different subdivisions and is home to the Philharmonic Center for the Arts. Naples Park is defined by four major intersections. Bluebell, a continuation of Immokalee Road to the north, 41 to the east, Vanderbilt Beach Road to the south, and Vanderbilt Drive to the west. Vanderbilt Drive divides Naples Park and Connors. Homes in Connors are more expensive because they have golf access. If you are looking for a single family home west of 41, Naples Park offers affordability and value. Recently, the area has gone through a phase of redevelopment. Owners have torn down the older style homes and replaced them with newer and more modern homes. Naples Park has no homeowners association, no HOA fees, and no restrictions. Naples Park owners and renters are drawn to the affordability as well as easy access to shopping and beaches. If you are considering buying, selling, or leasing in Naples Park, please contact me. My office is in Naples Park at 10001 Tamiami Trail North.